This is where we left it off in the previous video. We used the left and find functions to chop off that part of data that we need in order for us to be able to use the value in calculations. And in the meantime, you in the exercises have also added this trend column where you chop off the first part of the change column. And I'm not going to show you the formula, so if you haven't done the exercises yet, you still have an opportunity to do so. And what I've also done in the meantime is I've added not just the value, the number of shares I have for the first row, but also for all of the others. So I've just gone back to this first worksheet and copied all the data in. And as I said in a previous video, yes, I will explain you a better way to connect two worksheets together. If you already know it, don't worry, this is not how I think it's done. But for this exercise, it's just easier to copy the data in. So this is typically the point if you have a lot of columns where you're going to want to clean up your worksheet. If it doesn't fit on the screen anymore, it's time to do some organization. So let's scroll back to the first columns. And these first five columns, they have a special role, right? They are imported from the web. So we can indicate that to future users of the worksheet by adding a column here, a border on the side of the column. And here are two other columns that play a different role because they are built on the web data and then I have two more columns. And if I've done this, I don't really need the original values anymore because with my string operation I have retrieved the information that I need. And I can still refresh the data even though the columns are hidden, the calculation is still refreshed after I hit the refresh button. So this already looks a lot nicer. Now in one view you can see what's going on. Only that final column is bothering me a little bit because some of the values have two and other have one decimal. So what we can do here in this cell formatting pop-up that you bring up by hitting control one, we can set the number of decimals. But we can go further than that. We can even indicate that the value is a currency and add the euro symbol before it. So it's a lot more clear for someone who is going to work with this spreadsheet. And you remember from the first video that are probably 12 people over the next next five years, it's a lot clearer for them what this value means because you can see this is money that we're talking about. So organize your sp spreadsheet well. If you have people over to your house, you're going to clean your house. If people are going to look at your spreadsheet, you organize your worksheet. And in the spreadsheet that you're going to send in for the homework, we are going to look at your spreadsheet or you are going to peer review other people's spreadsheets. And this is one of the things that we will be paying attention to in those reviews. 